My name is Pat Poitras. I'm Jim Poitras. I uh, graduated from MIT in 1963. We have three daughters, one of whom suffers from a serious mental illness. We uh, have a daughter who's bipolar. And even when she was a youngster, three, four years old, we knew she was a little bit different. There was something not quite right. So when our daughter became ill, uh, I, I was clueless as to what to do, who to go to. After we reached a certain level of, of her care and treatment, we decided that any philanthropic effort we did, any major focus, would, would have to do with major mental illness. We were invited, Jim and I, to be on the leadership board at the McGovern. The idea that they were actually had a clinical focus of doing basic research was incredibly appealing to us. We decided we were going to make a really major gift and really get them going on it, not just talking about it. And, uh, and that's, fortunately, that's what's happened. And it's been amazingly gratifying. The Poitras Center was set up at McGovern Institute in order to facilitate research into major mental illnesses. This seemed to be the right place. Uh, you know, we, I look at it as an investor. We're investing a lot of money hopefully doing something that's important. I'd love to see another two, three, four people step forward and make an equal commitment. This is now basically three years after the establishment of the center. We already see some research that is coming out. For example, John Gabrielli found out that there were definitely differences that they could identify doing imaging between a schizophrenic and a control. That's a piece of research that's, that's happened at the Poitras Center and could theoretically be a diagnostic tool. When Bob DeSimone called us and informed us that Guaping Feng would be coming to MIT and would be the Poitras professor of the chair we had established, we were delighted. The support from the Poitras family give basically your ability to really go after high risk and high impact uh, research. They have a passion and interest, in, uh, particular interest in bipolar disorders and their support is basic, uh, is critical for attracting me here. I think not only financial support but also their passion. There's a message of hope there that, that you're not alone, there are others who have this problem and that are, good things are happening. Hope, really, is what <laughs> research like this is giving giving families like ours. Yeah.